Welcome back. We have found and opened the rotating dome for Crater Island, or Boiler Island as it's sometimes called. So let's go inside. And now we actually know why we're doing this. I mean, we kind of already deduced that it had something to do with the Uh, linking book in the Golden Dome. But now we know for sure that Gen is using fire marbles charged by energy from the Expanse to generate enough energy to fix his broken linking books. Something is wrong with either his book formulation or his ink formulation that they just won't work. Without an enormous amount of external power applied, that's why you had to build this gigantic contraption. And I do have to say, this purpose for the domes makes more sense to me than the original where they were just used to hide linking books. Um, now we know that these are fire marbles, freshly polished from his office. He keeps a supply of spares here. Don't know how long he can reuse the same set. Um, we can of course do this, but we know from before that we need to turn the dome first, or the central platform. The lighthouse looking thing. We should also extend the walkway while we're at it. I wonder if this is somehow related to the to the uh, new gap we saw in Uh, in the in the jungle, the new hole into this expanse. Again, calls this the expanse, but I don't know. I don't see any belters. And now we are able to charge up this fire marble. And he needed five of them because the energy was simply too great for a single marble to contain something else he found out by sacrificing the lives of a few of his men, which of course are Rivenese. And off it goes to um, the uh, Golden Dome. Now, while we're here, there's actually something else I want to do. Namely, we saw a symbol painted on a cliff wall, and I felt like we couldn't really get a good view of it. And if we looked in the opposite direction, we could see the big tree island in the distance. So kind of makes sense to me that um, maybe we're meant to view that from over there somehow. Also, all the other symbols, symbols uh, we've seen so far, the sunner symbol and the other animal um, in the cut down part of the woods where the butterflies were, had a totem next to them and we didn't find one for the uh, the big symbol on the cliff, also the symbol in, in the cave with the water that we haven't quite deciphered yet, had a totem next to it. So presumably there should be one, but we haven't found it. So I f do think it is a good idea to go and look at this from a new perspective. Um, we need to find the symbol for the big tree island. That was uh, Temple Island, so that's not it. 
That one's not on, so it's not it. So I think we need to go upside down again. Um, yeah, it's that one actually. So let's go this way. No. Snap there, please. Okay. And we're good to go. Let's see if there's something we missed on this island. Now the reason I'm doing things this way is because this is actually the way um, I did it in my original playthrough. I found some of the other symbols and their totems, saw the big symbol, which of course I recognize what it is, because yeah, it's pretty obvious even from there, but I still felt there w it wasn't quite the, the right way of looking at it. So there had to be something else. I just felt there should be. I also couldn't find a totem for it. And yeah, I noticed uh, this island in the distance from uh, the uh, jungle island over there. So I figured it has to be something here. So I went back here and I looked around. Went back up here, determined that no, we can't do anything unless we know what to do with those buttons. And if you go up here, no, it's just the imager. And yeah, I guess I was wrong. There is nothing else here. Except, psych, yes there is. You can walk through the gap in the railing. And I didn't notice that at all <laughs> during my original playthrough. So yeah, I, I could recognize what the symbol was, obviously. Having played the original game helped. And I never found the totem for it, because um, I never went this way. So I had to guess what native number was uh, associated with this one, with Rivenese number. And... Um, there's only one I was missing, so that was fairly easy to do. So yeah, finished my first playthrough of the game without ever noticing this part, ever going here, even though I specifically went back to look for it. I don't know if it's just because I was playing in VR, it's harder to notice that this is a walkable stretch or not, I don't know. But I saw somebody talk about it on the uh, official Cyan Discord, and I was like, wait, what? You can do this? Then I went back, went over here, after having already finished the game, and discovered that, yes, you can. I guess that this was originally the path to the now defunct Maglev station. is now actually underwater. But it also leads us here, where we find a totem. With a number. We can use our Um, our lens to see the line and arrange it properly. And we now know that this is the number two, which I don't think is specifically on the uh, 
worksheet we found, but we've figured it out with the help of uh, the hint in Gen's lab. Um, so, oh, that was the wrong. That was the wrong button. Why am I not? Why am I not so far away from this? I don't know. I'm just gonna zoom in and take a picture. And annotate it as the cliff wall totem. We now know also from Gen's journal that this is a cemetery totem, which would seem to indicate that these may be grave markers of some sort, in which case there are quite a lot of Rivenese who died here. And some of these may be older than Gen's rule, but I shudder to think how many of these Gen is directly responsible for. Um, well, the island's over there. Way too far away for me to see any symbol on the cliff. Don't see anything else around here either. Hmm. Well, there's a ladder there. Maybe we just need to be higher up. Oh, there's a little skylight in the tree to light up the totem. Well, it seems like somebody, presumably the moiety, who we know left those number symbols behind. Can I see the symbol from here? I can't. It's the building up top there. The skylight doesn't really tell us anything. And it looks like we can make our way up to that building. Well, this is the highest vantage point we've had so far. And still nothing. It has to be over to the left there somewhere, I think. But we need, like, binoculars or something to be able to see that. Big old tree stump. This must have been a giant tree. Did Gen use all this wood in his efforts to make paper? I mean, there have been, we've seen other uses of wood as well. But I have a feeling that the Rivenese wouldn't have cut down this uh, majestic of a tree just to make like a walkway in their village. Whereas it definitely sounds like something Gen would do. What's up here? Yafeyadik. You made it. But how did you get past Gen? We haven't even seen Gen yet. I know what he's doing. He's watching you. He's waiting for you to make a mistake. You can't let Gen get back to Dunny. Find the Moiti. They have the book. Be careful. We found Catherine. Guess she's being held in here. But didn't Gen's journal say she was with the moiety? 
Not anymore, it seems. We can walk around her prison a little bit. Take a peek inside as well. Don't see her. I know, this feels wrong. Kind of voyeuristic. There's a ladder over here, going even higher. Catherine seems to think that Gen is watching us. We kind of know he is, at least through the telescope in the in the village he was. Which is probably why she's reluctant to tell us anything more than simply find the moiety. Well, we've been seeing uh, traces of the moiety everywhere. The numbers on the totems, the small knives, if they're responsible for the numbers, then they're probably also responsible for the symbols, which, even from here, still can't see it. So, that's our best lead, I guess. Just keep figuring that out. And you may have realized that if I never found this place during my fir first playthrough, I also never talked to Catherine here. I knew it was possible to talk to Catherine in the original before freeing her, but it worked differently. So since that didn't work and I never found this, I just kind of thought they removed it. But they didn't. They m just made it different. And I figured I'd recreate my blunder somewhat in uh, the Let's Play. Plus, I also kind of just like the the whole seeing the symbol, seeing the island, thinking you should be able to see it from here. Thought progression, which I was right about, even if I didn't know it at the time. But, we still haven't actually seen the symbol. And, I mean, we checked here with the lens, there's, other than the paint on the totem, there's nothing else here. But other than paint, the moiety leave other signs of their presence. We've just set, mentioned it. The daggers. So, there's something about this tree root. It's actually just a... Is this actually a root, or was this placed there? It's hard to tell. And it turns out we can actually move it. Something else which took me a little while to figure out. Uh, once I finally did get to this place after I was told about it. And then, also easy to miss, there is a view hole on the side of this. Showing us a cliff. We can actually see the ladder down here and the paint bucket. So this is the right cliff. Let's bring up our moiety lens, and now we can see the complete symbol, the Riven logo. Presumably it means something else in, uh, in the world of the game. The two symbols we have seen, the Sunners and that other one, kind of both look like animals. The Sunners, obviously. Um, so, if this is an animal... Not quite sure. Maybe we'll see something that looks like it later. Anyway, now that we can see this, even though we can't tell that the lens is lighting up, this is still the best view we're gonna get. Take a picture of it. So, we now know that this symbol is number two. And yeah, these numbers are also random, by the way. In my original playthrough, it was one. 
which I had to guess because I never saw it. Like I said, I was only missing one number, so not hard to guess. Which means you can finish the entire game without ever going here. But you do miss out, especially on the interaction with Catherine. All right, let's return to Boiler Island. Or Crater Island. Oh, I actually do need to reopen the dome to do that. And we know it's the vertical with the dot. There we go. One nice thing about the freedom of movement we get is that we don't actually have to wait for that. We can just start walking. Oh, and now I actually accidentally walked off the <laughs> off the path. Something you would definitely not do in VR. Especially, uh, at least not if you're teleporting, which I do. Because, yeah, my first playthrough was, of course, entirely in VR. Except for a small segment where I was looking for things in the village. Because I was a little stuck. And got tired of walking back and forth in VR. can quite clearly see the pressure plate used to close up the um, dome when we get in it. Another reason why I uh, postponed this is because I do kind of like not quite seeing Catherine that early. And what she tells us to do, find the moiety. Makes a lot more sense after we've read about who the moiety are. As much as this is a supposed shortcut, It's not very fast. We need to go back over there to um, the uh, Boiler Island Dome because I want to take that maglev we saw behind Gen's office. Since we know that the Moiety have been there, and um, I don't think Gen knows that they do go there, uh, we can only assume that the Moiety know the symbols that open the domes. They're not that hard to brute force, even with the limitation in clicking speed. And they must use that to communicate with Catherine as well. Because it definitely seemed like she was expecting someone else. And I doubt Gen goes that way to talk to her if he needs to. Dome closing up behind us as always. And spinning back up. I'm not sure if the spinning accomplishes anything other than being part of the locking mechanism. Alright, um, let's head to that maglev. Definitely feels like we're getting somewhere, now that we've seen Catherine. We, at least we know she's alive. That's that's a thing. Wish we could uh, tell... Wheel's still spinning very slowly. Wish we could tell Atrus about that, but we can't.
but we don't really know how to uh, rescue her just yet. Presumably something to do with those buttons inside the tree there. Um, where's the call button? Oh, I walked right past it. It's upstairs. But she told us to find the moiety. Presumably they can help the rebels. And I guess any enemy of our enemy is our friend. So if the rebels are rebelling against Gen. Oh, there comes the Magwell. You can actually see there's also a track going from that island over to the jungle island, which we did not find the entrance to when we were originally on Jungle Island. Maybe we can find it from this side. Well, I think we've kind of refined our goals a little bit. Our goals were to capture Gen and rescue Catherine. So, Capturing Gen will require us to unlock that linking book, because I bet he is not on Riven. Or if he is, he would probably be watching us and would leave if he sees us coming. And um, to rescue Catherine, we have to find the Moiety. Who Actually, we also need to find the moiety to capture again, because Catherine told us they have our book. Which we kind of could have deduced, because clearly, once we read about those uh, knives belonging to the moiety, the person who took our book in the beginning must have been one of them. There's a door on the other side here. Which looks like we can only get to if we turn the... Um, Mac left around. There's also a call button on both sides. Which makes sense, I guess. But let's explore this side first. Or a nice view of uh, all the islands. Islands? Suddenly turned into Smeagol there. Islands. Um, I think we've visited all that we can see. This is the fifth and final islands, as far as we can tell. Unless there's more hidden somewhere. But given all the number fives around, there might not be. Gen seems to think it's like a holy number or something. This looks cool. Not quite sure. What this is. Water with some kind of algae growth on the top, I guess. Some weird rock formations sticking out. There's a hole here. Some water down below as well. Are these lights again? Look like they could be. That does look like it's a fire marble in the middle there. So all I need to do is whack it and uh, it should light up. Can't test that theory though. Cyan, day night pat day night cycle patch. Get on it. I think most of these shadows are pre-baked, though, so it would be kind of difficult to do unless they switch to some kind of dynamic lighting system. Who knows, maybe in the next remake. Um, we'll pretend that geometry isn't broken. Um, 
Alright, some weird path in between here. More water. And some bizarre contraptions sitting on islands in that water. You can hear more wildlife here. These are definitely tusks lining the outside of this whole place. And there's an elevator. I'm guessing this is just a call button. Probably. Is that a camera? Or just a light? Doesn't really look like the other camera, so... I'm hoping it's just the light. Oh, what do you have here? Elevator buttons and... A panel that's a 5x5 five five grid. Just turn all of those on. Yeah, no, that didn't do anything. Nothing obvious anyway. Probably some particular pattern we have to make. Oh, and he'll turn back off when we hit the button. Um, there's two ways to go here. Big lake here, with a pathway surrounding it. A bunch of totems as well. There's four of them. Looks like there might have been five. This one's broken. As is the walkway over here. Whoa! Holy moly. I think we found uh, the animal that uh, is being worshipped. Indeed, some kind of fish thing. That's a lot bigger than I expected them to be. Again, something that's very obvious in VR, just how big these things actually are. They look way more intimidating than they did in the original game. At least in VR they do. Um, this also looks like it represents those same animals. Are those... chains hanging from... the totems? Yes they are, with manacles on the end. Um, some kind of boat here, with a ladder on it, that seems entirely pointless. I guess this is a paddle, with a pointy end. Some kind of flat paddle boat. Maybe used to transport things to those totems to feed the animals. And considering those shackles and some of the other stuff we've seen, I have a feeling I know what against feeding them. Let's not dwell on that too much. Oh, this pathway is actually floating. It's being held up by these barrels underneath. And here is the rotating dome. Wait, can we even get to it? Bridge is broken. We can walk on top of the barrels. Doesn't really help us though. Can walk. Oh, there he is again. Jesus. Scared the crap out of me. Um, 
I guess we can walk on the broken pieces of totem. I have a feeling that fish broke the totem and the bridge. Yeah, we can get to the dome. There's the pneumatic tube. No more fish sightings? No. And here is the... Uh, viewer that's also kind of broken. It's leaning over and the glass uh, symbol is stuck up. Which is nice, which means we don't need to uh, go and look for that symbol. We can go and confirm it though. Can indeed see this island. It's kind of hard because it's partially hidden behind the symbol. But we can see it behind the uh, symbol in the, through the window in the Golden Dome. It's not quite pointing the right way. So we're kind of going to have to wing this. I have to guess when the right symbol is in the right spot. It should be facing us. It goes towards the... Oh. Oh! It gives me a much easier view to do that. <laughs> I forgot about that. Of course, in VR, that's not the case. You have to create your own view. Now we can much more clearly see when the horizontal line symbol is facing us. And adjust accordingly. Alright, yet another dome unlocked. Which means we can charge yet another fire marble in our quest to unlock that book. for the dome to spin back up, which is definitely not a, uh, a loading screen. Alright, this is a more complex series of stairs than we've had before. Uh, we know we have to line up the central platform first. Might as well extend the bridge, in case we ever want to come back this way. And then the um, fire marble thingy is actually all the way up top here. I guess Gen had to uh, build all these stairs to uh, get this lined up pro properly with how the dome is situated here. They're all kind of haphazard angles, so... I say Gen had to build this, but I have a feeling he didn't actually build anything himself. Especially in here. Definitely sent his Revenue's followers to do that for him. And if a few of them float out into the expanse, who cares, right? We don't have anywhere else we want to go right now. That's another ridiculous looking one over there. It's the only one we haven't been yet, which then logically must be the rotating dome we saw in the jungle. The only one we're missing, don't quite know how to get to it yet. Gotta wait for the dome to open back up.
I think it's just because it's, you know, spherical, but transitioning through the domes like that just reminds me of uh, how the teleporting seeds work in uh, abduction. Hey, look, it's a camera. No more fish sightings? No. Okay, there was something else on the other side of this wall. Where this ridiculous dagger is sticking through. Which it seems is being used to anchor this, uh, this bridge. Hey, the islands in the water down below look like the Tetris pieces we've seen a few times now. And if we look here... It's those same Tetris pieces. Not quite Tetris pieces. And we can move them around. Hmm. Something tells we need we need to match this setup here. So this goes in the top right. This goes underneath that in the top right. This is already kind of where it needs to be, as is this one. And then this one we need to get to the bottom left somehow. Can you close that back up, actually? You can. And it also resets the sliding puzzle. So if you get stuck, that's helpful to know. We'll see if we can solve that puzzle, though, in the next video.